Jess, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. For today's video, we are doing a hair tutorial, something I don't really do here on my channel, but you guys have been very, very, very much requesting this. And it is a tutorial on my kind of go-to everyday hair routine. Now, I don't curl my hair every day. I curl it probably once a week and then the curls last me about four to five days because my hair is pretty thick and it does hold well probably on more thin hair it would last maybe two to three days if you use dry shampoo and were really protective about your curls this routine probably takes me about 15 to 20 minutes after i think four or five times of practice the first time i did this it took me about 50 minutes so don't feel bad if it takes you guys a cool minute especially if you do have longer hair but for me it takes about 15 to 20 minutes when i'm just normally doing it but yeah if you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe down below and join the family okay yeah enough talking let's hop on into the video the first thing i do is i just fix the part in my hair i've had my hair in a bun most of today so my part's a little funky so i like to part my hair in the middle you guys of course can part your hair however you like this is this is just what i do this is so hard all i have is like my tiny little monitor right there oh please say this is a straight line did I get it? Did I do it? Wow, okay, that worked way better than I thought it would. Okay, cool. Before I embarrass myself on the internet even more than I usually do, let's clean out this brush. I am just going to brush through my hair. Fun fact, my hair is actually naturally curly. My hair when I came out of the womb was actually curly and just over the years I've always had long hair so it's weighed it down so my hair is not used to being curly really anymore i still have quite a few waves you can't really tell now because like i said it's been in a bun so with my hair all brushed out i'm going to start applying some product my hair is one day hair so my hair does have some good kind of grip to it but to give it a little bit more grip and hold so my hairstyle lasts for usually my hairstyle lasts for about four or five days i am going to be applying some dry shampoo i use the batiste instant hair refresh dry shampoo plus with a hint of color divine dark um, what a name. Wow. Okay. I like this one because it's specifically made for people with darker hair so you don't look like George Washington. So now I'm just gonna rub that all in. Okay guys, that is the completed look. I really hope you like this tutorial. Totally kidding. So now that my hair has some more texture for hold going on, I'm going to apply some heat protectant because I've got to keep this hair nice and lush. So this is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. So I'm just doing two little pumps in my hand and just apply this. I'm just doing one last brush through. Now that we've done all the preparation for the hairstyling to commence, we're gonna start the actual hairstyling process. The curling wand in question that we're using today is this one from Numi Style. This isn't a sponsored video. They did send me this. A couple weeks ago though but i promise this isn't sponsored i just have this from them Ooh, i got a text who could it be from Ooh, it's from my chiropractor's office i have a chiropractor appointment tomorrow at 10 30 a.m this is the new me classic curling wand in the size one and one quarter inch i tend to like bigger more voluminous curls you can use a smaller curling wand if you like the only thing i don't like about this curling wand and the other curling wand i have from them is something that i think is just a design flaw it doesn't have the little nub right here so it doesn't doesn't stay stable it kind of just it swings around over on whatever surface you put it on like a like a I don't know like a wild alligator tail it's just like swinging around so while this bad boy is warming up I am going to clip my hair just using a little alligator clip I have clipped a majority of my hair up I only have these little baby scrap hairs in the back down and I am just going to give these little tiny curls I'm not gonna try and do anything crazy because they are so short and I, I tried doing it once and I burned myself. So I'm not about to burn myself again because that burn lasted for like three weeks and it was very unpleasant. I take about this much hair and I start curling. I don't hold it too long. I hold it for about five seconds. Uh, my hair is thicker. So if you have thinner hair, I would recommend holding it for a less time period because we don't want that horrible situation of 
and you burning your hair off like that one. Do you, do you guys remember that viral video that happened like, I don't know, seven, eight years ago? So now for the next strand, so I start at the front doing a piece away from my face. Now for the next piece, I'm doing it towards my face. For each strand, I do an alternating direction curl because it, one, it adds more volume and two, it kind of gives you that like very natural beachy looking wave instead of all of your curls I don't know, doing that ringlet thing where they all go into one. So if you wanna avoid that happening, do some alternating curls. One away from my face, one towards my face, one away from my face, one towards my face. And for the pieces that are closest to my face, I try to do them away from my face. I just like to have them facing away. I think it frames my face nicely. We're gonna let down another chunklet of hair. I think I'm just gonna do three layers today. Okay, and now we're just gonna repeat the same process where I start a curl going away from my face as the front curl and then I just alternate directions all throughout my hair and then once I end up on the other side, I just end on a curl going away from my face. So to tell you guys something just really quick, I just want you guys to know that it doesn't have to be perfect. Like every curl does not have to be perfect. It's kind of a more messy look. So if you like miss a chunk, if you like end up going like two the same way or and then like one the opposite way, just a messy hair look. So really kind of have fun with this part. Okay, last layer the top layer. This is the layer I really try to pay the most attention to because it's the top most same. I'm basically just going to repeat the same process that I have been doing. The frontmost curl away from my face and then just alternating, kind of just making it messy. And I will hit you guys back at the end of me curling this. And now cue the time lapse. So you guys can get a closer look. Looks like this so far. I have like one and a half last steps to finish this off. Now I take my bristle brush and I smooth out the top. So you guys can see it goes from looking, looking 50 shades of crazy to nice and nice and tame. Look at that. And I just very gently do this. I'm not like tugging or pulling and I only go down I don't know, about about this much. I don't brush into the curl. The last thing I do is I take hairspray. This is the Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Undone Texture Hairspray. And I just give it a nice shake. And I just do a couple little spritzes because I don't like when my hair feels crunchy. This hairspray does not give you kind of like crunchy hair unless you put like a lot on, I'm sure. Um, but this does not just like naturally give you crunchy crunchiness going on. It gives a very like natural hold, but I still like to go pretty light on the hairspray. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of it. That's how I do my everyday curls that you guys have been very, very, very much requesting. I hope you guys like this tutorial. I tried to go more walkthrough versus tutorially. I tried to show more angles so you guys had a better idea. I will have everything I mentioned linked down below if you want to check it out. I really love this hairstyle. I love my hair short so, so much. I actually kind of want to get it cut a little bit shorter. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like it looks even cuter on like the second and third day of curls because it kind of has a more like relaxed, super wavy look. Um, but I like this as well. I think it's really cute and I hope you guys like it. If you guys recreate this hairstyle, send me a picture, slide into my DMs. Something very cool happened where one of my subscribers from Brazil messaged me in my DMs and she was like, hey, I just wanted to send you a picture. Like, I love your videos and you inspired me to cut my hair. So I cut it and she, she looked so, so cute. So if you're watching this, hey girl, how are you? Like I said, I love your hair. Yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I love you guys lots and I will see you in my next video. Bye.